you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over what to do with your coins right now. So there was the what to do right now Madden, which is like the actions of what to do now, what to do with your coins, how I'm going about this state of Madden. So guys, if you're new to the video, make sure to go down below, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Smash the sub button, boys. The grind to 10k is real. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already and you want to give some feedback, comment down below what you're doing with your coins right now. If you're new, loyal, old, whatever, it doesn't matter. Comment down below. It's great. I love getting feedback because it really helps me as a content creator, you know, improve myself. Also, let's get this video to 250 likes. That'd be greatly appreciated, boys. Thank you so much for all the support as of late. I've really been appreciating. You guys are making this content creating dream of mine a reality right now. So thank you guys so much for that. Now, guys, let's get into this video. So, first things first. I only have 128,000 coins. There's a reason for that. Because there was only one thing I recommended using your coins on right now. Actually, why am I in my lineup? I'll do it from my, my binder. So, the only guy that I recommend using your coins on right now, like literally just if you could splurge on him, was Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor is definitely worth it. You think he's a, he's, a end year, he's an end year card. As a whole, I'm not buying too much right now. I did my shopping spree. I'll go over why I did it. But as a whole, Lawrence Taylor is the only card I recommend that you guys go, you power up, and you hold on to for dear life for the rest of the year. Because he typically, he's going he's gonna to be probably my outside linebacker for the rest of the year. I can almost show you that. I put a bunch of cams on him. But as a whole, what I'd be doing, I'd be building coins. People are like, should I buy things? I wouldn't buy things right now. Now, if there's a card that you really want, really want go ahead because prices are a little down right now i'll show you guys some prices as a whole but in my opinion i'd be holding coins because we're in that weird state of matter where things are about to start dropping you're gonna want coins for so if there's a card that you really want you know that's you know that he's gonna be on your team most of the year you know you can get so much value out of him fine you could buy him now because the price is a little down now lawrence taylor i got him for about 320 on legend saturday so if you guys want a player always wait for legend saturday because you can snipe out their pieces probably get willie brown but always wait for legend saturday if you want legends Bundles drop, players come out, players get cheaper. Now, as far as the 88s go, again, they're a bit on the cheaper side right now too, but I'd probably wait for them also just because prices have to come down. Like I said, we're in that weird state of limbo and Madden right now where the season of football hasn't started, so a lot of content like crazy hasn't started dropping. But we're still in the beginning, so players are a little overpriced. So I'd wait. I'm telling everyone, like, if you have a million coins, save them. Because when week when week one drops, and there's, there's team of the weeks, there's new legends, heavyweights, flash, but everything starts dropping. A lot of players are going to be out in the game. Right now, it's a little scarce because there's only like a few good players per position that you really could use that are like the meta right now. But it's going to come to a point where there's going to be so many. They're not going to be as overpriced because you don't try, you don't get multiple options and multiple players and more supply on the market, obviously. So in my opinion, I'm saving coins. Now, how would I go about getting those coins? Like I mentioned in my last video, don't want to be repetitive, but level up to level 50, get your coins. Level Leveling up to level 50 gets you the most coins you probably get for free. Get your free players right now. That's what I want to do. Get your free players. Rock with those for now. That's what I've been doing. Now, the coins, I'm going to build that coin stack back up using house rules, solo battles, and weekend league. That's what I'd recommend for you guys. Save your coins right now. Hold on to them. Now, there should be new content today of flashbacks. I wouldn't recommend. I mean, I typically don't think flashbacks are all that good when it comes to, like, the quality of the card for the price. I mean, even heavyweights are okay. I like heavyweight linemen, obviously. I mean, heavyweights aren't bad because they are going to be very useful linemen. But flashbacks, I think they're usually a little overpriced and they don't have the best stats. So, in my opinion, definitely not the move. But as far as would I be making investments right now? Yes. One good investment to be making that I made, I mentioned in many videos is power-ups. I'll show you guys specifically a few that I really like. And also selling off hype. Selling off hypes that you want to do right now because there's so much hype because there's not a lot of cards out. So people are very hyped when that one new card comes out. So a good example is Panthers running back Christian McCaffrey. This power-up was going for about 3 to 4K, right? A bunch of people had him. They dropped his signature series limited time card. His power went up to 30K. People sold him. They made hundreds of thousands of coins selling him. And then a day later, he was back down to 3K. So when you guys make investments right now with your coins, which is what I would be doing, because right now I don't think there's a reason to spend coins. Weekend League doesn't come out till next weekend. I'd recommend you just wait. You just chill with your coins. You relax. Don't waste money on training right now. Training is overpriced. I'd wait. Because once a lot of players, like let's say right now, there's only one good running back. And there's only a few good receivers. There's a few good running backs. In a few weeks, when they get like Team of the Week Ezekiel Elliott, let's say, Team of the Week Christian McCaffrey, Team of the Week Kamara, any good cards, so there's going to be a lot more players to get. So the market as a whole is going to drive down because it's not so. It's not like just, oh, there's only one smartphone in the world. There's going to be like 20 of them. 
people aren't going to value one specifically as high so they're going to even out a little bit and when that happens the market will gradually come down as a whole which means training will be cheaper and you don't really need training at this exact moment so it's like the third week of the game you guys can relax with training a little bit wait a little bit until it's exactly necessary which i think will be like the first week of the season so coming towards the end of august is when cars should be coming down a lot more as a lot more things start dropping like i said team of the week so i'd be making investments right now in power-ups let's say you go to packers or let's say no you know we're still sticking panthers cam newton cam newton goes for like 8k if you can get this guy for like 5 to 6k great investment he's gonna get it he's gonna get a team of the week card at some point in the season he's gonna be overpowered and he's gonna be insane so guys if you have if you, if you like cam newton or you, you know what i'm talking about you know how he plays in real life he always has that one team of the week card every year man every year and he's one of the most overpriced quarterbacks for the rest of the year his stats are never amazing but everyone wants him because he's mobile cam newton's a fan favorite just saying so what I'd be doing with my coins, I'd be making investments. I have a bunch of power ups bought. I have some Rogers, some Clowney. I have some Amari Cooper. I have some Ezekiel. Well, I have quite a few power ups invested right now, which is what I'd be doing right now because that just seems like the smartest route to go right now, considering the state we are in Madden. We're in such a weird state right now. We're like past the launch, but before the, the year starts. So we're like just stuck in a state right now. And they took away Weekend League. But like I said, House Rules comes back tomorrow. Solo battles comes and weekend league come back when all those rewards drop and people start getting more free cards the market's gonna start coming down then they're gonna drop the preseason team of the week that's all gonna accumulate as a whole to a market gradually coming down so that's why i will be waiting for that reason everyone's been asking me should i power up these cards buy these cards do this i've been telling everyone the same thing on twitter i'd wait i'd wait i'd wait i'd wait i don't think there's a urge to do it right now especially if you're not competing if you're competing in weekend league that's the only exception if you're competing in weekend league that is the exception feel free to go over and do that now also as far as coins go you have trophies people have been asking me should i be opening these right here wheel of coins hail marys personally you can get coins from that but i think the best smartest thing to do with trophies is to take this and this coach madden and series one collector uh, co sorry series one competitive master von miller i would take his nat though my personal opinion you get these two guys your team's getting a lot better there's so many ways to go free right now without worrying about spending your coins now, if you really don't think Von Miller is the guy on your team that you want for the rest of the year, then I guess you can go and just start opening these to convert your trophies to coins. Not the worst idea. I could probably open about, I can open 28 of these. If I get at worst 1K, I get 28K. If I get 20Ks, 30Ks, I could get over 100K. So obviously you can convert them to a decent amount of coins. That's if you don't care for John Madden and Von Miller and you're not much of a competitive player. I guess that's fine. But trophies are like currency this year. So I'd probably hold them. Now guys, don't splurge on Legends. That's one of the things I have to say right now. When Legends first drop, don't splurge on them. Wait a week. Lawrence Taylor was 750k. That's probably the best advice I can give you. Lawrence Taylor was 750k. Everyone was like, oh, he's the most overpowered card in the game. I need him now. And I was like, guys, just wait a week. There's no weekend league this weekend. Just wait. No, I need him now. He's going to go up. People bought him for 750k. A week later, I got him for 320. Everyone's pissed. Everyone was like, I'm sick to my stomach. I wasted half my coin stack. I know. Willie Brown was 600k, like 650k launch. Now he's 410. This Legend Saturday, when the cards drop, you'll probably be like, I could probably get him for like 320 again same thing so i'm gonna get two cards for the price of what you guys paid for one that's the best thing is sell off hype but don't buy off hype because when you sell off hype you make triple the coins so like right when you pull willie brown sell them. come back in a week buy them when the hype's down double your coins power up so if you hear oh antonio brown's getting a new car tomorrow sell his power up his power's gonna skyrocket sell it you guys are like oh what if he goes open the cards come on no no just sell it the second you see the price grow up because as you see with mccaffrey he was 3k 30k 3k within two days that's how quickly it happens. Sell off hype. Don't don't fall in love with your cards. If there's a new team of the week, Tyree Kill, I'll probably sell my elite unless I'm gonna power him up. Unless you're gonna power the car up, you don't just keep him because you're like, oh, but he's Tyree Kill now. This is team of the week, Tyree Kill, and I have his power. I'm selling it for 100k. I don't care if I got it for 50k. I'm selling it for 100k. It just makes sense. Sell off hype. Don't buy off hype. It's like if it's like fantasy football or any fantasy sport. Buy low, sell high. I'm, I always wait. It's pretty much as a grand total to wrap everything up. Wait till Legend Saturdays, always. If you're gonna get a Legend, always wait for Legend Saturday. I never buy Legends out, not on Saturdays. Unless the prices are similar, like if, if the prices stayed from Saturday to Sunday, or people anticipate it on Friday. Some people pre-sell their Legends on Friday to avoid that. So, um, consequentially, the, if I even said that right, the Legends are cheaper on Friday. And sometimes there's so many things pulled on Legend Saturday, that they're also cheaper on Sunday. So that's useful. As a whole for selling, when you're gonna sell your team, Sell at night. Always sell at night. Pat Mahomes might go for 3.30 in the morning or in middle of the day because everyone's on. But at night when people aren't on posting cards, Pat Mahomes might be 360. So you kind of get your reduction back because you get that extra 30K. 
So that's overall. Hold your coin stack. Get your free cards. Invest in some players. Wait till the season really drops. Start investing in training and everything. And for all the new cards that are coming out, don't do it right now. There's not enough cards right now. Like, Steve Young's the only mobile quarterback in the game. Obviously, there's going to be a Vic soon. It's going to be Kyler Murray upgrade. There's going to be a lot of cards in New Cam Newtons. But right now, Steve Young's so overpriced, and you're going to put so many coins into him, but he only has an 81 speed. When they drop the first real dual threat quarterback, like a Michael Vick, you're going to only want him, and you're going to lose all that money. I personally just, I, I play the waiting game, in my personal opinion. I think that's the best way to go. But guys, that was a mouthful. So thank you so much for watching. hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smack the like button. Two, let's get 250 likes in this video. Make sure to go down below. Turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, boys. Smash the sub button. Let's get the road to 10k popping. And guys, comment down below if I missed anything that you guys didn't hear in this video. Guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.